Josh and I have always been close. I made it the blueberry pancake or blueberry pumpkin pancake recipe and now my mom's perfected it. Good healthy eggs, organic. Josh was an extremely active child. His soccer coach called him the Energizer Bunny. My grandmother is a great cook and so I learned from my grandmother, learned from my mom. I just remember as a, as a kid growing up, just really loved being active and healthy. 15 years ago, I had had breast cancer. I remember one day my mom, who was actually my gym teacher at school, came home and actually told her family that she'd been diagnosed with breast cancer. And I just remember even going in the bathroom and seeing, you know, just chunks of hair in the sink, just looking like she aged 20 years in two weeks. I developed a cough. And um, so they went and did, they did an x-ray and they found a two centimeter mass on my lung. And they said that my cancer had returned. She calls me and says, you know what, I'm, I've just been diagnosed with these tumors on my lungs. She's like, I don't know what to do. They weren't sure if it was um, metastasized breast cancer or if it was lung cancer. I told her I'd be home, flew home, and sat down with her and just said, you know, we need to take care of this all naturally. And so we just radically changed her diet. We started going through a detoxification process, had her start exercising. He got me set up with a chiropractor, started there three days a week, and I continued going to the, the oncologist, um, continued to go to the different doctors, the surgeons that they sent me to, because I'm listening to a 23-year-old. There was a major conflict in my head because I said to a friend, I'm looking at a 23 year old, a young boy, and I'm listening to the med, you know, the oncologists, the surgeons, you know, and they're just so insistent. And this friend says to me, what is your heart telling you? I said, my heart's telling me to listen to Josh. I just, I just feel, you know, really led and really strong that way. And she said, well, that's the way that you need to go then. We went back to the oncologist after about three months, redid her CT scans. The mass doesn't show up on the x-ray. Went back nine months later. It had shrunk to one centimeter. It just kept shrinking and they, they couldn't figure out you know what was going on. And right now it's been about five years and she's in the best shape of her life. When I started this, despite what they were telling me, all of a sudden I felt all this energy. It's just like, just some kind of life within me. God put this amazing healing power in our bodies and really every three to four months we have entirely new red blood cells, entirely new organs. You know, every year we have an entirely new body and I just knew that if we put, if we started doing all the right things with her, just like I'd done with other people in the past, that she was gonna get well. Josh has tried to get me off my sugar, so instead of using uh, syrup, I've learned to use blueberries. I'm doing what I can do nutritionally. I didn't feel like I could continue to go to fast food, continue not to eat healthy, continue to stress. I feel like right now she's probably in better shape than 99% of people out there. At 56, I feel better and healthier than I did in my 40s. I'm just so proud of him because I feel he's out there helping people. I really just see her happier and healthier than ever. Well, I'm a believer. <laughs> I'm in awe of God and how he's worked. And when I was pregnant, I named him Joshua because I wanted him to be a Joshua. I wanted him to be a servant of God, but a leader of people. And, um, and that's what I see.